Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Ornup Kondu. Today I will discuss different types of arguments which will be passed within a user defined function. Okay, so go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss how arguments can send within user defined functions. Okay, so there are different types of way to send arguments through user defined functions and there the number one is positional argument number two keyword argument number three default argument number four variable length argument and number five keyword with variable length argument okay so at first go for an example for positional arguments okay so suppose we define a function def and put a name purple and then put a parenthesis and then provide the parameters name and age okay and put a colon and after that just print the name and after that also print the age only okay and after that we are just call the function so function name is people and provide the argument suppose provide the argument at first we are provide a string suppose name is Rahul and then provide an integer it's 38 okay so just save the file save options and go to the e drive and choose Python example and provide a name example 201.py okay and press enter and go to the command prompt and just type Python example 201.py and press enter so what get rahul and 38 actually what happened here when we call a function python must match each argument in the function call with a parameter in the function definition means here in argument in the function call are rahul and 38 so it just match the rahul is stored within the parameter name and the 38 is also stored within the parameter age and after that the name just print the Rahul and the age just print the 38 and this is the example of positional arguments means whatever the position we are sent the arguments and the same way the parameters store the value okay now the second example for keyword arguments okay so go for an example suppose write def and put a function name people and provide the parameter name and age okay and just print name and just print age okay and just call the function people and put the argument name equal suppose provide Rahul and age equal provide 38 and close it okay and just save the file go to the file option save and put a name example 202.py and press enter and just go to the command prompt and write python example 202.py and press enter so what get the same result as the previous example is concerned name provide rahul and age provide 38 actually here a keyword argument is a name value pair that we pass to a function okay when use keyword argument be sure exact names of the parameters in the functions definition okay that means here we provide the keyword means the name have the value and age also have the value and this value just store within the name and within the age also okay and this example can be written in another way suppose the parameter we are sending in not a proper order suppose we are write age equal to 38 and then provide name equal Rahul okay so after we save the file and just go to the command prompt and just type python example 202.py so you get the same result means the order doesn't matter here the keyword argument is a name value pair so that's why whatever the name we are provide the name should be provide also into that particular part so this is the example of keyword argument now suppose in this function call and the argument name we are provide age 1 equal 38 
and here suppose provide name one equal to Rahul and save the file okay and just go to the command prompt just see what happened so write python example 202.py so it's an error why because here it doesn't match means age one is not provided here name one is not provided here so that means in keyword argument the name whatever provide within the argument should be matched with the parameters okay so now if we save the file and if we run the program then we got the proper output okay now the example for default arguments okay so write the python script dip and write people and then provide the parameter name and provide age equal 38 okay and put a colon print the age okay and then we just call the function people and provide argument suppose they are provide Rahul okay and close it okay then just go to save the file provide example 203.py and press enter okay and just go to the command prompt python and write example 203.py and press enter so we get the result as rahul and 38 actually here python allows function arguments to have default values if the function is called without the argument the argument gets its default value the default value is assigned by using assignment operator means this equal operator here each parameter has a default value is 38 okay means here we don't provide the value of age but still this is a default value okay so that means this is the example of default arguments where we don't provide any value of age but here we provide the default value now the example for variable length arguments okay so just write the python code write dip and suppose write here add and just provide the parameter suppose a comma asterisk b okay and then put a colon and then suppose write c equal to a and then suppose use a for loop for j and in b and put a colon and then write c equal c plus j okay and then just print the c actually and then we call the user defined function at and provide some value suppose one two three four five and close it okay and then save the file suppose we provide a name example 204.py and press enter and just go to the command prompt and write python example 204.py and press enter so what we get the addition of 1 2 3 4 5 is a 15 okay actually what happened in python we may need to process a function for more arguments than we specified while defining the function these arguments are called variable length arguments okay the special syntax asterisk b which is provided here as a parameter in at function definition is used to pass a variable number of arguments to a function okay and it receives multiple arguments in form of tuple actually here b is actually a tuple here okay so that's why what happened here one is just stored within this a and the rest of the value means from two to five it's stored within the b in form of tuple okay at first a value is one so that's why c is stored one and after that it will retrieve each and every value from this sequence means from this tuple by j and every time it will add one plus two then the result will add with three then result will add with four and then result will add with five so when we add five plus four plus three plus two plus one we get the result 15. now the another example of variable length arguments we are provide here so suppose write def and suppose again take add and now just provide only asterisk b here okay means here b is a tuple we have already discussed so next write suppose c equal to zero and then suppose provide for i in b c equal c plus i okay 
and then suppose we print the value and just write print c and also we want to know what the type of b i have already told that b is a tuple so just check it so just write type and within we are just write b okay means type of b if is a tuple so that means b is also a tuple okay so now just call the function add and provide the value suppose 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay and just save the file suppose we provide a name example 205.py just go to the command prompt and just write python example 205.py and press enter so what happened the same result whatever the previous example is concerned because the value are same 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 the result will be 15 so that's why c print 15 and the type b is a tuple means this is a variable length means whatever the arguments we have provided within this function call the parameters b is a tuple which store the value within the variable b okay and we already checked that the b is a tuple now the another type is keyword with variable length argument okay so first go for an example suppose write def and then put a function name people and provide the parameter suppose provide name and just provide double asterisk and provide suppose age okay and then put a colon print the age okay just call the function people and provide the value suppose provide here uh, first we are provide Rahul okay then suppose provide age as for example 38 suppose after provide city and provide suppose uh, Kolkata and after that suppose provide gender and provide suppose mill and close it okay and then we save the file just go to the file and save options and just save the file example 206.py and press enter just go to the command prompt and just type python example 206.py and press enter so what happened we get name as rahul and age is a sequence okay actually in the function multiple keyword argument or variable length keyword arguments are received as dictionary whose key is argument name and whose value is the value actually age here as a dictionary okay and here asterisk age receives multiple keyword arguments as a dictionary okay and the special syntax asterisk age in people function definition is used to pass a keyworded variable length arguments means whatever the arguments we have sent after rahul all are stored within the dictionary age okay so that's why it's just provide the key and the value so age is a key value is 38 city is a key and kolkata is a value gender is a key and male is a value okay now take another example of keyword with variable length argument okay so just go for an example suppose write def and then suppose provide the function name people and here suppose we provide name comma and then provide double asterisk age close this parenthesis put a colon okay and after that we print name okay and then we use for loop here okay so for i comma j and then write in and then we are use a function which name is items actually here age is a dictionary to retrieve the value from the dictionary we need a function and the function name is items so that's why here we write age dot items okay and after that put colon and then just we print write i comma and then provide double quote equal double quote close and put j actually what happened the dictionary have two elements one is key 
and there is value and here when items retrieve the value from the dictionary edge i store the key element and j stores the value element okay and after that what happen we just want to check that what type of edge actually so that's why i write print and then write type and then just write edge okay and then we call the function people and provide the argument suppose provide here rahul and then suppose write age equal 38 comma then suppose provide city kolkata and then suppose write gender and suppose here write mail okay and close it and after that save the file and put a name example 207.py okay and just go to the command prompt python example 207.py and press enter so what we get as output the name just print the value rahul okay h to gender it store within the dictionary age here okay that's why every time i is retrieve the key because here age is a key and 38 is the value city is a key kolkata is a value gender is a key and male is a value that's why i at first pick h and j retrieve from their 38 similarly next iteration i retrieve city and j retrieve kolkata and similar way i retrieve gender and j retrieve male so in that way a is equal to 38 city equal to kolkata and gender equal to male and now we are just want to print for checking what type of age so here print class dict dict means dictionary means age is actually a dictionary okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arcoin Thank you and bye-bye.